Now this is a video that I wanted to make for a very long time. It also came out really long, but if you want to learn about why am I so weird on camera, because I know a lot of you guys are wondering like, what's the deal, what's the deal, why, why is it, why is it so weird? You'll learn about that. Also, why am I just so untalented singing? There's also a good exp explanation for that, which kind of ties into the whole awkwardness. Mm, but if you don't want to listen to the whole rant, which is long, then you can just check mm, down in the description for the timestamps. So you can just check the part that you're interested in. But guys, I really hope this gives you more context about how I got into this point it gives more meaning behind the channel and what I want to do. Enjoy. Gravity, 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 gravity. Hey everyone, how's it going? Now this is a video, yeah, I wanted to make for a very long time and I would just get super real, most real I've ever been on camera with probably anybody in my life. I just want to talk about some very very deep things that have just affected me very much and which have resulted in me in just being like, like pretty awkward on camera um, which is now a work in progress you know and also just like why am I so untalented why do I do all this weird shit like jaw exercise or like lip things or just like everything that I've been doing on this channel so you'll get all the answers here all right so First thing, why am I so awkward on camera? Like, especially at the beginning when I'm just like this, or just like, why am I like so low energy and like not expressive enough? So that comes down to stammering and stuttering. So for those of you who don't know what that is, is like stammering and stuttering, it's like a speech impediment. It's like a, it's like a speaking disease, D disease? Yeah, disease that, um, Essentially, you're not able to speak when you would really like to. So, you know, examples are like, you know, I'm sure like you've seen in movies or like TV shows, like people who talk and then like, I want to, 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 to you know, so people like that. And I'm not mocking anybody. Um, no, this is really me sharing this part about how I used to stammer and stutter. So I developed stammering, stuttering when I was around 12, 13, so right in that teenage years and it just quickly became like the like the biggest biggest nightmare and challenge of my life. It just I would really spend my days and uh, you know when I would be in school just talking with anybody, I would not be able to speak or express myself and I would just want to say something, but I couldn't. So I'd be like, hey, hey man, how's... You know, it's like, I, th it's like there was something just holding me back, like this physically, I was just incapable of speaking. And um, I was never really the kind of stammer stutter to like verbally put it out. I wasn't so much like, duh, 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 k -k 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 -k. like I didn't have like that, you know, verbal, verbal stuttering because I was just so afraid to let it out and like let people know that I actually stammer. So what I would do is like, I would just train myself in those moments when I went to speak. It was like, I would then just sort of take out like, like a really long pause or, or then just not speak at all. When I would feel like speaking something, but I would feel at the beginning of the sentence that I can't speak, you know, I would be like, then I would just simply not speak. And I would feel all this tension rise up and it would be like a nightmare, like like a nightmare occurring every day, like every hour. So yeah, that was that was really my school years and like that resulted in me and you know not being that social and like I like, always had friends but like I would just I was very selective about the parts I shared about my life and just the way I was around people. It was just very controlled and like Mm, making sure that I wouldn't let other people know about you know this problem that I had and so it was just like that resulted in me really in being just very calm and super super selective about what I said now this problem you know persisted really throughout when I was like from 13 until you know the end of my high school really 
And when I was in my last year of high school, I was like, and you know, that's the time when you think, okay, what I want to do and you know, what I'm going to study or what I'm going to be, you know, all those questions. And somewhere down the line, I just realized that, okay, I want to go and study abroad. So originally I'm from Estonia, which is like this super, super small country, like in the Northern Europe. And in my head, it made, made sense to move to a completely new country and just do like a restart, you know, get new friends, new environment, speak in a different language every day. And that just was like this hope or expectation, like, okay, if I make that move, if I made that move, then I'll be able to get rid of the stammering because, you know, people wouldn't know me. I wouldn't have attachments to the environment, etc. And that's what I did. So I moved here to Holland, which was now roughly about four to five years ago. And um, things didn't go that well. Um, I still continue to stammer, although I was speaking in English 24-7. I wasn't speaking in my mother tongue, you know, Estonian. Still, the same problems persisted and I was just, I was just mental. I mean, like, I was, you know, alone, you know, didn't know anybody before coming here. Still had the same problems. And my first year of university, like, I survived. I mean, I, I made friends, you know, I was okay. And I was still continuing on living and just not sharing this part with anybody because I had become really good at it. You know, even when I was living back in Estonia, going through my high school, like I was still able to communicate with people, but just in a very, very selective way. So that's what I did during the first year of university as well. And that just eventually got me to the point where we just felt so super super depressed and like mad at myself like like I made this move I thought you know I'll be able to get better at just speaking and expressing and just actually start living fully and it didn't happen so somewhere down the line of second year I just I just had this I don't know it was like a snap really that I just, I just <clears throat> whoa excuse me that I just decided that uh, yeah fuck it I need to get rid of this thing and it just because it was like the biggest demon and challenge in my life. And that's when I decided to get rid of it. And so I did many, many things. And um, I just started to put myself out there more, get more uncomfortable. Although I was uncomfortable every day, I was just putting situations, situations where I would feel even more uncomfortable. And that slowly but surely started to get rid of it. And that led me to start a blog where I actually first shared, you know, the stammering, stuttering thing and where a lot of people who were friends of mine or acquaintances, you know, read, you know, the uh, the blog where I just talked about stammering and like, like man, I, I never knew this part about you. And um, so I just started to put myself out there more and more. And, and you can read that blog post I did like now more than two years ago. Mm, down in the description below as well like I go there in more depth like what did I do to actually conquer this stammering stuttering thing but the main thing here is that you know I was just so deprived of expression and actually putting myself out there I was just so insecure I had all this anxiety and I was really just I didn't enjoy life like every day was was really difficult for me because I had this thing where I just felt like I wasn't good enough and like I always felt like whatever I said I it's like I wasn't able to really say what I wanted to say yeah because like always it was just inhibited there's always this doubt that okay if I put that out then you know then it will be just like imperfect and like it will be flawed and like and just I was really a mess and just not able to live fully. And so when I started this YouTube channel, which was roughly two years ago, by that time I got pretty much rid of stammering and stuttering. It wasn't really bothering me and I was comfortable with speaking in like different occasions and with like all kinds of people. Mm. So when I started this channel, still the thing that remained was that um, I just lacked in expression and I was just like, I was just simply dead, you know, and uh, just, you know, 
I decided I need to put myself more out there, get like comfortable with with like sharing sharing, you know, music, which is which is my biggest passion and what I want to do in life. And it just made me connect more with what I wanted to do with like singing, you know, just starting from the scratch and then the stammering which I had conquered, you know, but I still knew I wanted to put myself more out there. So then the two things just really came together. And so, you know, in the first year and, you know, probably also like in the last, you know, nine months, like I haven't really been like like the most like animatic guy or like Logan Paul or like, or like Jake Paul. Like, oh, like I'm not really like a very much of a bro, bro guy. Like I'm, I don't have that high up energy, but um, that, but you know, that really comes from me just like depriving myself, like, you know, for years and years and not being able to express myself. It's like the way I think like, um, what is like, like being high energy, that's, that's for me, it's like, I have a very weird perception of it and it actually feels weird for me to be like, you know, happy and just like, you know, say, hey guys, how's it going? You know, just, just to be all like that. That feels for me now still uncomfortable to do. And, but it's like something I know that I need to be, you know, free and just really express myself in either way I want. So that's, you know, really how the YouTube channel started to link together with, with like this stammering. Yes, that was a long run, but it was necessary because like, I think there's just so much I want to share about that part of my journey and I hope you have more context to it. So, but now I want to get into the point number two. So why am I so untalented at singing? Why do I suck? Why do I need to do all these weird exercises with like a uh, jaw and like tongue and like everything really? Well, surprise, surprise, that has to do with stammering and stuttering. And you know, that's also why I just gave it a whole rant. Um, I've now been singing for more than two years and I've had different coaches and what I learned from every one of them, you know, they might may have different approaches, but every one of them has said like, singing is a very body activity. You're using your whole body really and a lot actually, you know, your head really. So like your, your jaw, your lips, um, and also what's inside your head, you know, like your, like your uh, tongue, your throat. It's like a lot of it is happening in there. And so me being an ex stammerer, stutter person who for years, for years and years had, you know, deprived and not really engaged, you know, and expressed myself. That has meant like my, my jaw, my tongue, my lips, they're like retarded, like they're literally retarded. And uh, it's like, you need to get to the state that the naturally talented singers have. So the way their jaw works, their tongue, their lips, it's like they're, they're doing it right and they're not constricting or they're not tensing up anywhere. They just have this natural, natural flow to it, which is something that I don't have completely at all. So that's really one of the main things, but also just, in terms of volume, how expressive or not expressive you are, that will impact how naturally talented singer you are or not. So like, if you're like a guy who just, you know, is like very loud and has been like shouting just like, you know, entire life and be like, yo bro, what's up, what's up? Like, if it being a guy or gal that is like very outgoing, it means like, you know, you as a singer, then you don't need to work so much on like, projection and just like compression of the voice or just how to be loud because that's really the way you train your voice it's like you need to be loud there's a certain volume you need to have but me who just pretty much just whispered like you know in his, like his entire life and was just very calm and like was you know i was just very selective about the word that just meant like i did not really develop my voice at all and it was just like if you think in terms of levels or like I was at level one where like a talent singer is at like level 50, which means like in the last two years, I've been just literally shouting in my room and just, you know, I've just gotten comfortable with using my voice at a higher volume, you know? So that's, that's what I've been doing. And like, it's like, I have had like everything wrong, you know? So just like the way my head, my body, the an anatomy works, 
and then also like the mental part like how much do I put myself out there I've had those two things wrong now that you know these things I think it becomes really clear why I'm just the like the one of the least untalented singers out there and I'm sure like you know people have had their own difficulties and challenges and you know it's hard to know what someone has gone through but it's like if you've had such experiences with stammering and stuttering they will mm, impact or give you a less of a head start in you know learning how to sing or just become an artist mm, but that's you know what I want to really do with my with my channel just like show this wallflower guy who just you know used to stammer um, how I just go out and like start doing shows you know put out these YouTube videos and like do live streams and just not really give a fuck and I just hope that will inspire other people to do the same and pursue art whether that's music or you know whatever they want to do and just not be inhi inhibited what happened to you as a child I think these things can be tackled can be overcome it's just really how you look at it and how much you put yourself out there so guys I know this was like my longest video I've ever made but um I'll put some timestamps on that you can see like you know which part covers which part if, if, if you're not feeling like watching the whole video but I very much hope you do and hope this gives you some more context about who I am why yeah why I have been so awkward on camera why yeah I'm so talented why do I do his weird shit I hope that gives you more context and Thank you for watching guys i sincerely appreciate you i wouldn't be this far as a person if there wouldn't be you just like listening and watching giving me support so appreciate you guys really and if you're new to this channel you just discover me hope you subscribe and see more of my music journey and as i grow as an artist and a person so thanks for watching guys and i'll see you very soon with a live stream and more videos